everyone. Okay, so. Oh, hello, Leo. Oh my God, he's so delicious. You're so delicious. I'm getting ready. I wanted to do some quick makeup because I have to actually film another outfit before I go. But I ran out of my favorite oil, my Summer Fridays um, face oil. And I remembered I had my carrot oil. And I don't know why. I always like stop using my carrot oil and then I fall back in love with it. Like it's just the best oil. It's so affordable on Amazon. It's just the best because I'm really trying to use up the stuff I have like look at this cabinet you guys like all this skincare which I do use this I don't like at all the skincare I don't like that at all but this is good I've used a lot of that I'm just trying to use I love all my m &L stuff like so much I love this I use this every single night this Desi one eventually I'll get to it but right now I'm using the Biosauce one this I don't even know what that does honestly um, this I don't find does anything. These face masks I don't really use. I need to start doing them. I'm not a face mask kind of person. You know how I get cold sores? Well, I found finally the only thing that, that cures it. And if you're not into taking medicine, this is not for you. You have to get a prescription. I'm not telling you to take medicine or anything, but this is like literally the only thing that works. I'm talking about this because I just saw my prescription, but you have to get a prescription called Valtrex. And the moment you feel it coming, you take it and it does. It never comes. I feel like just knowing that I have this medicine makes me so much less stressed about getting them and I get them less. I think today, because I wanna go for like a lighter makeup look, I'm gonna go for the Ilia Serum Foundation. This one I do have in a little bit of a, a lighter color, like I should have gotten a darker shade, but at the time this is the only color they had and I really wanted to try it, so. I'm just gonna put a little bit on. This has so many good reviews and I love it. It's so lightweight, but still has like a lot of coverage. I don't know if you guys can see. Oh. This pimple will not go away. I've been that close to my face. I don't think so. I don't think so. So you know what? I'm actually so pale right now that this is darker than my face. The thing about this foundation though is that it is very dewy, so you definitely need to set your makeup uh, pretty well, at least I find. I'm gonna just bring it down my neck. This is like what I do when I want like super fast makeup that still looks really good. I'm going in with this Born This Way concealer. I'm not even, normally I mix oil into it, but I'm not even gonna do that because I'm just too lazy. I can't believe I used to use a full, full coverage foundation and then I would use like shape tape every single day to go to school. What was I doing? Like I still like that when I'm going out or when I want to look super glam, but every day. I also can't believe I used to do my makeup every day for school. Like if I was in university now, there is no way, no way I'd be doing my makeup every day for school. I would be going to school looking like a hot mess. How did I find the energy? Like I would have class at 8 a.m. and I would show up with a full face of makeup. I do always put a little bit of cream contour just because I feel like it's so easy, like such an easy way to warm up your face. And I try to use as much cream products as possible so I don't have to use as much powder. I'm gonna set my face with this Bye Bye Pores Press Powder from It Cosmetics. I just stamp it in because nobody wants pores, come on. I'm going in with a little bit of a bake just so that my makeup like really stays put. Some quick brow, some quick brows. Oh my god. Anyways, whatever. They're fine. They're good. I wasn't gonna put bronzer in my crease, but I'm gonna put a little bit on this like super fluffy brush. This is from, I don't know where this is from. Morphe. I'm gonna just take a lot of bronzer and kind of just put it on here. This is like my super fast way of doing eye makeup. Now I'm gonna take this big fluffy brush and wipe off the bake. Bronzer time. I love bronzer. My favorite is the Hoola. And I just pack on the bronzer. And this is the only bronzer brush I can use. The Morphe M527. Now for lip liner, I don't know what I'm going to use. Caramel from Kylie Cosmetics. Which I don't even know if they have anymore. I swear their packaging for lip liner is the worst. Alright, and that's our quick makeup.
my eyebrows could definitely use some work but other than that it's our quick makeup Jean, uh, okay so we just made it we have nikki oh that's really that's good really good lighting, lighting. I don't yep. have my shelf. I oh. <laughs> so, this is the kitchen. It's so beautiful, this house. We have Cruz, right? And we have Leo, two best friends. This is the dining room. There's a little like breakfast nook. And then the living room. Leo, you're gonna be a good boy. So we oh. brought food. I have to show you what Nicole has stashed in <gasps> here for you. Oh, oh. my God. <laughs> no, it's so much oh. cheese. So much cheese. We are opening this bottle of wine. Kim Crawford Sauvignon Blanc. I don't know why Kyra's been asking up recently. Okay. Ooh. These are like nice and big. I think these are for red wine, but. And Mish made us a wedge salad. Sure. Let's, Straight. Go, let's go with I made it. Straight from his heart. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Mmm. Delish. Country yes. Girls. <laughs> I think I'm gonna put him in my thumbnail and say he's my new boyfriend. He is your new boyfriend. Okay. Imagine in the morning. This literally looks like you guys are like in a film. Okay, we just figured out the hot tub. You can see it. So we're gonna go. We didn't bring any shoes or anything to make it to the hot tub, but we're gonna go get changed and go in the hot tub. I'm so excited. <laughs> so we just got out of the hot tub after two hours, and this is what Michelle whips out as a snack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here with my block of cheese. <laughs> Nikki has her, are you put them away? She had Miss Vicky's and you have a, a thing, a caviar. Yeah. It's a little bit scary because I watched a documentary about how this is formed. <laughs> the sturgeon caviar. It just has such a- This is not the sturgeon that we ate. It doesn't have we the flavor you expect. We Me and Tony beluga. had beluga caviar. Here. I think people think it's gonna taste like super fishy, but it doesn't. Apparently it just tastes salty. It's like a salty buttery thing, I would say. Like foie gras? We have to no, cheers. No, not like foie gras. Okay. We have to cheers. 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 I'm scared. It's good, right? Oh my god. I'm happy you like it. It literally tastes like popcorn, like butter popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. It's nice. First things first, we check the TV to see if we can watch Sex in the City. And just like that. So we came up north simply to watch Sex in the City in, serene, <laughs> in a serene, relaxing environment. environment. Like, I don't know about you, but I rewatched the entire series, like, I don't know, uh, once a season of the year. So like, I think four times a year I watch the whole series. And then people are like, do you watch, like, oh, you have to watch this show. I'm like, I don't have time. I think that, you know, like, I don't have time. I have to watch Sex in the City for the 50th time. When, when they're not in my life, I feel it. You feel it. You feel it. I say, I think I've watched Sex in the City like four or five times. Just such an easy watch. Like I, it's. You said four or five times. That's technically a lot. And I'm like, what? Only? Only? Is that going to start a real fire in this house? Yeah. Are you sure you know how to do this, Nikki? Oh, she yeah. does. I do. Oh, oh, they're really big, huh? <gasps> Yeah, well, let's start with two. Oh, Michelle, you're so strong. <laughs> Leo, are you having a grand old time? He is. You are. That's scary. Like, one wrong turn, this house is made of wood. Literally We're all going up in flames. So Nikki made us some iced coffee. Look at this view in the little breakfast nook. We have De La Cruz. <laughs> we have Leo. And now we're gonna just do some work. It's so pretty with the... The snow? The snow behind you? If I owned a house up here, I would just live here in the winter. And the summer. And I would just move here. It's so relaxing. How's my coffee? Do you want me to give you a full coffee review? Yeah. I'm not gonna hold back. I give it a nine on 10. It's missing. So, it's actually just missing kind of the coffee flavor, but it's nice and sweet. Maybe it could have like a little bit more of a strong coffee flavor, but that's not your fault, you know? But overall, nine on 10. Why don't you tell everyone what you wished for and what wish came true today? So I actually wished for a trip to Florida and Nikki just told me that she surprised me with a trip to Florida. I didn't surprise you. <laughs> 
She's bringing me to Florida. Can you believe that? On your credit card. We're going to Disney for four days, right? I'm so excited. Watch the Sex and the City reboot thing, but I, I did fall asleep like halfway through the first episode. We may rewatch it in bed. I definitely have to rewatch the second episode because I was asleep for the whole thing. I did not fall asleep. And then we watched? Twilight. I watched half of that. I watched like- Like a quarter. Like four, four tenths. You did. <laughs> Making my thumbnail. Okay, Nicole's bringing wine. Thank you. You're the best. Cheers. I'm gonna make us a nice plate of things that Tony loves. Caviar? Yes, that'll be on the <laughs> Oh, we have some cucumber, peppers, crackers, cheese, <gasps> and hummus. Yummy. Yes, while we are preparing dinner, we will mm. pick at this. That is not allowed, Leo. This is our little feast we're having tonight. Tacos. I made some guacamole. Nikki made the meat. All the trimmings. We just played Scrabble. It was my first time playing Scrabble ever. I don't know how I went this long without playing Scrabble. And Nikki smoked me, but I did pretty good. I did pretty well. Learning. My skin is in a state. My hair is in a state. I'm just... I'm in a whole state, but we are getting ready to go for breakfast. And look at Mr. Leo. Okay. We're driving into the little town. It's very dark and gloomy. I'm sure it's cuter when it's not so blech outside, but it's still very cute. That greenhouse. It's rainy. restaurant we just ordered iced coffee and then we're gonna get a big breakfast and pancakes and an onion soup because apparently it's the best we're doing things a little differently we're starting with an onion soup and then we're going to eggs but it looks delish look at the size of this bread it's as big as the plate <laughs> pancake maple cream maple syrup and beans i'm so excited oh we just finished breakfast it was so good, but it's freezing rain outside, and I'm wearing running shoes. So what did I have to do? So I was sliding down the mountain, like literally, like you know the scene in um, Elf when he puts one <laughs> leg on the escalator. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> that was me sliding down the mountain, and Nikki had. That wasn't to, the mountain. It was the driveway to the restaurant. It was like a mountain, and Nikki had to hold my hand and. Well, because I am, I'm the only person who wore weather appropriate. Stop. Look, I didn't know we were going skiing today. Now we're going home, cleaning up, doing some things, and then we're gonna head out. This is the mountain. It's no. a it's a big, oh, I told you, it's slippery. I'm not the only one. Yeah, so 10 on 10 would recommend the Pussy, it's under renovation now, but it's delish. Oh, oh. Pussy Pousset. It's so What's good. What's that Pousset? You. I just got out of the shower. I'm making a coffee because I'm I feel like I feel good today. Like I have a lot of energy. I have a lot of stuff I want to do. I started this new thing in the morning where I read articles and the news because I'm so wrapped up in like my life <laughs> and social media. I want to say that I feel like my brain is slowly turning to mush. It's crazy how your brain is really like a muscle. You need to exercise it and I when I was in university and school, I had the best memory. Why is the focus so off? I had the best memory. I had the best vocabulary. And because I haven't been in school for, oh gosh, four years now. And my, my job, I mean, I love my job. I love what I do. It really fulfills me. But it's not that taxing on my brain. Like, I don't really get to use my brain that much in that same way. So I started this thing where every morning I'll read a few articles, the news, and I'm going to go pick up like an actual book because I love audiobooks. But I, I, it just doesn't do the same thing for me. I listen to so many audiobooks, but I guess it's just not the same thing. I was contemplating just like whipping out my textbooks just so I could have something to read. <laughs> and I had to wash my hair. I washed my hair when I was up north. But wow, was it ever dry. I don't know if it's because I let it air dry, but it was so dry and felt like horse hair. It was so... 
so weird not even like horse hair it felt like hay I'm looking for my oil but whatever okay so then i'm gonna be putting a little blow dry beautifier thermo bb cream for thick hair i put this on like the ends of my hair and i put this before i brush brush it and then this I've been loving. This is the time-saving blow-dry oil, but I'm going to put that on when I brush my hair. This brush you're supposed to use on dry hair. It's the um, Tangle Teaser. You're supposed to use it on dry hair. It's the finishing brush, but it also works on wet hair. I realized that like my safety blanket is my hairbrush. It's so weird. I don't leave my house without some sort of hairbrush. And I got these ones from Amazon. I have them in all my bags, so I got this one from Amazon. And I actually saw some, a girl using this in the bathroom at a restaurant, and I was like, what is that? So I looked it up on Amazon. It's a little foldable hairbrush. I literally don't leave my house without a hairbrush. And I realized that like, one time I left my house without a hairbrush, and I, I had like a mild panic attack. What is that about? I don't know. I think it's just because I love the look of like brushed out hair. I feel like it just looks really clean and pretty. Don't ask me why I've developed an emotional attachment to uh, to hairbrushes let me know if there's anything that you guys can't leave your house without with me it's a lip liner and lip gloss and a hairbrush i love clean hair i love showering you want to know something crazy oh i don't know if i should tell you guys but you guys are all like my best friends i feel like i i should tell you okay so once i was dating this guy Oh gosh, I hope he doesn't see this. Once I was dating this guy who hated showering. And that's all we thought about. He just hated showering. And I'm someone, like, I shower in the morning and I shower at nighttime. I cannot go into bed feeling, well, okay. That depends, like, how tired I am. It, I have to shower minimum once a day. I have to shower in the morning to get my day started. And most of the time I shower at night. Like, I, I just like to get the day off, you know? Point of the story, I love showering. And this guy just hated showering. Like, we would argue about him showering. I think he hated how he felt after a shower. But I was like, just put some cream on. I don't know. I have some crazy stories I wish I could tell you guys. Like, I wish I could just invite you all over and tell you all these stories that I have. Because I swear you'd be like, no, I don't believe you. Okay, oh, also, watch updates. So I, I get asked probably the most about these watches. When the watches are coming back, if you haven't seen this video, my $100,000 business mistake, like I wish I was kidding, but I finally have a date. So the watches are coming back January 2022. I know it's like later than expected, but watches just take so long to make, especially when they're like handmade. So this is actually from our first collection, the gold on gold. You guys were obsessed. We're getting that back um, in this next launch. But these are the new, these are the two-tone watches. Oh no, I took it off. It's upstairs. But the this is the new colorway, two-tone with a mother of pearl. I don't know if this camera's like garbage but that face is a mother of pearl face we have two-tone with a gold face this is also a fan favorite this is personally my favorite out of the two-tone after the mother of pearl but this is two-tone and black dial i've been falling asleep with my makeup on i know like i'm a mess and i need to just get my life together so oh this product the shuamura straightforward time-saving blow-dry oil I don't spray it directly in my hair because I find that it can be a little heavy. So I'll spray it in my hand and then kind of work it through my ends and my roots. I don't know if it actually um, saves time. I don't know how that would work. It definitely makes it nice and soft with this combination of products. So I'm going to blow dry my hair and then I'm going to film and then I'm going to get ready. 